Hey guys, what is up? Rubik's Life here. Today I'm going to teach you how to solve the 2x2 two two Mega Minx the easiest way possible. So the 2x2 two two Mega Minx solves exactly like a regular Mega Minx, except you don't have to solve the edge pieces, and these are all just corner pieces, which makes it a much easier solve. So if you know how to solve the Mega Minx, pause the video and try to figure out, try to figure this out on your own because it solves exactly the same as a regular Mega Minx. So the first step in solving the Mega Minx is getting the white side done. Alright guys, so the first step in solving this is getting the white side done. So if you guys already know how to do basic corner placing, you, I have a video on how to do that on the 3x3. It's exactly the same. Or if you already know how to do F2L and stuff, it's exactly the same like that. So just pick a side that already has white pieces on it, so like this one. And you want to make sure your pieces are oriented the right way too, because if I do this, these colors don't match, but the white sides do, so these pieces aren't correct. So you don't want to do that. So the first thing I see is there's a yellow, purple, and white piece right here, and there's a blue, white, and yellow piece here. So this piece needs to go here. So what I can do, is I can hold the white face that I'm making on the bottom and then just bring this piece out and then just kind of keep rotating it around the cube until I can get it to where I can just do and this I can do this move where I bring the corner piece up like this so I can do a U move and then I can bring it right down alright so the next white piece I see right here is the red green and white and we don't have any red or green because this will be a blue piece here and this will be a purple piece here so this will be the piece that we're looking for so this one's already lined up you just have to do an R U prime R prime and that'll bring that right in the spot it needs to be alright so looking for the next piece here's the blue red and white piece and that needs to go right here because there's a red here and a blue here so that'll match up so you just need to keep rotating this piece until it gets to where it needs to be. So right now it's right above it and the white is on the top. So you can just do sexy move or R U R prime U prime R U R prime U prime. And that way it's lined up again. You can just do an R U R prime and that'll bring it where it needs to go. Alright, so the last piece is the purple, green, and white. And here, this is the last place where it needs to go. So you just need to rotate the corner right where it needs to be. And then just do an L prime, U prime, L. And that'll match up the white side. Now that was really easy. Um, now we're going to solve the corners that are right above the white corner pieces you just solved. So for this one, for example, you need to find a red and green piece. And we don't know this top color yet unless you've memorized the colors, but I haven't. So you just need to find a red and green. So here's a red and green right here, because the red needs to be on the left, the green needs to be on the right. And here we can see red could be on the left if we did this, and the green's on the right. So we just need to rotate this piece all the way around until it comes to the side we need to put it in, and then just do a U prime, and that'll line it up. So the next one is purple and green. So here it is right here. That was easy. We can just do a U, and that'll line that up. So the next one is purple and yellow so here it is right here purple and yellow so again just rotate it until it comes to the side it needs to be and in this case it doesn't line up because the orange needs to be the top color because the purple needs to be here and the yellow needs to be here so in order to do this you can just put it over to a blank side that we're not working on and then just lift it up so the orange is on the top rotate it out of the way and bring that side back down so that way you can line that up. So the next one is yellow and blue. So look around the cube. Uh, here it is, the yellow, blue, and green. So we can just freely rotate this. And because this is the top side, and there's no corners on this side, we're solving it. And then just keep rotating. And again, the green needs to be on top. So rotate it out of the way. Do an R. You do a U move or U prime to get it out of the way bring that side back down and then just do just line it up where it needs to be alright so the last one is blue and red and here I see the blue 
red and pink so the pink will be the top color so we can just kind of move it around the cube until it lines up to where it needs to be and again it is not matching but because this is the last one there's already a solved piece here so just bring it over to the top face so you can just freely move it and line it up where it needs to be all right so now that we have all of these pieces done we can go to these next corner pieces that are above the ones we just solved and this is just like F2L or regular corner placement on a 3x3. Three three. So all you need to find is just find this color. So for example, this is blue and this is blue. So you just need to bring it out of its spot and then just bring and then just regularly corner place it in where it needs to go. So this one is red. Here's the red. We just need to do this. Bring it up, over, and in just like a regular corner placement. It's super easy. Um, here's the green one, so bring it right over where it needs to be, and regular corner placement. Uh, the purple one, here it is right here, and we just do regular corner placement to bring that in. And then yellow, it's already, right, it's already lined up right, and there we go. Alright, so now here comes the hardest part, and it's still super easy. You need to get all the gray pieces on the top. So at this point, we already have three. So what you need to do is you need to hold it so the gray side is on the left, so it's on the far left side of you. And you need to hold it so the piece that you're trying to rotate is on the is right on the top left side. What you're wanting to do is do R prime, U prime, R prime, U. R prime, U prime, R prime, U. R prime, U prime. R prime U, R prime U prime R prime U. And don't be worried about what's going on right here because once we solve this one, it'll automatically solve that one. So then just rotate it, rotate the gray side until you got to solve the other one and put that in the top left and do the same algorithm. R prime U prime R U, R prime U prime R U. And that'll solve the rest of that cube on the bottom and it'll put all the gray pieces on the top. So now here's the final step and you can get confused by this so just be careful. So at this point if you have any matching just go on and do the same thing I'm doing but just match your corners. But uh, I don't have any that are matching so I can't, I don't have a real head start on where I need to go. So I see this is green and this is green so this piece needs to be here. So what you're going to want to do is do an R prime and then move this piece right here counterclockwise and bring this gray piece back up to the top and then you're gonna take the piece that you're gonna replace with the piece that you moved down here right over top where you switched it from and do the same algorithm you want to do R prime move this piece clockwise to bring it into the place it needs to be and then just bring it back up to the top and now the next piece we have to do right here is the blue an orange piece so the orange needs to go here so we're gonna put it this piece over top of where it needs to go do R prime do this one prime to line this color up with that color and then just bring that back up to the top and the last one is the peach color with the pink which needs to go right here so we're gonna bring that over do an R prime bring this clockwise to match up the grays bring it up to the top and then just kind of fix your gray side. I know that was a really quick brief tutorial, but this cube is super easy to solve. If you guys have any questions on how to do this, um, let me know in the comments below and maybe I can make another video on how to more in depth, um, deeply solve a certain section if you guys need help on that. Or if it's a quick fix, I can help you guys in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and of course subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.